everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how we can draw this piece in Autodesk Fusion 360. First of all we will begin with this part. So we will construct a rectangle first of all with the dimensions 150 and the other one 76 and then we will start to cut from it. So let's get started. Keep it in mind that we have here a height of 20 units or a thickness of 20 units. So the first one, we will press it, create sketch, select the plan, and now let's create a two point rectangle and go at center rectangle. So go at the center point. And now the first dimension 150 tab 76 units and press enter. Then press the finish sketch and let's apply the extrude command. Drag this arrow up with 20 units, enter. Good. The next part it will be to cut these edges. So we will build here another rectangle with the dimensions 150 minus 30, that means 120, and the other dimension it will be 18. So let's get started. First of all, create a new sketch, select this surface. Okay, two point rectangle starting from this point. First dimension 120. Tab 18 units. Finish the sketch. Go it again at extrude. Select this surface, drag the arrow down. And now you can type here a higher number or you can just press it all and be sure that the operation is to cut. Press OK. And now we need also the same thing in the other way. But to gain more time, we will apply another trick here. We will go to the create menu, mirror. Select the last operation, so this extrude. Here we have object, it is highlighted already. Mirror plan, zoom out and select this plan exactly in the middle and press OK. And in this way we gain more time. Let's have a look again. Let's add now this extra part. So we will construct another rectangle, also the upside down, with the same area and then we will extrude it with 25 minus 20, 5 units. So create a new sketch, flip the drawing, select this area, create a two point rectangle, finish the sketch, extrude, select this part, and drag it and press 5 units. The next step it will be to build another rectangle but with the dimensions 76 and 16. Moreover, we will have the height here 60 minus 25, 35 units. So keep it in mind, 76, 16. New sketch, select this surface. On this side. 16 tab 76 finish the sketch extrude select this plan with 35 units enter we also saw there that we have two little holes so the first hole it will be a circle with the diameter of 13 units as you see here and we must create it with the dimensions of a height of 10 units and the other dimension 14. So we will flip the drawing again, create a new sketch in this side and now let's create a circle with the diameter of 13. Enter. Now just add sketch dimensions find the center and this line and here let's write 10. Again select the center and this point and let's write 14. Finish the sketch, extrude it, drag the arrow in the opposite direction. You can go for a higher number or you can select here all but every time be sure that the operation is cutting. Press OK. And as you saw here, we have another circle to make and the distance between those two centers of the circles is 40 units. So that means in total 14 plus 40, 54 units and the height is again 10 units. 
So create a new sketch. Select this surface again. Circle, construct a random circle. 13 units, enter. Sketch dimension between this middle and this line, 54. And between this center and this line, it will be 10. Finish the sketch, extrude, and it will be the same story. For the final part of our drawing, we need to construct here first of all this surface and then we will apply the extrude command symmetric in both sides. So we have here a line first of all of 105 units and then we will go up with another line of 40 units. Then we will construct the bigger circle here, a circle with a radius of 20. And after that we have a tangent line here. So first of all create a new sketch, zoom out to have exactly the middle plan. You can press right and click line. We have here first of all a line of 105 units, then another line from this point of 40 units. It's very important. Now create a circle somewhere here, let's say, with the dimensions of 40 units. Sketch dimension now, find the middle and this line. Here we'll have 20, it's correct. The other dimension here, we must have 20 as well. Now let's create another line from this side until we find exactly this sign of tangent you see here. Now let's create another line from this side until here. Now let's apply the trim command or you can press T and start to delete. Finish the sketch, press extrude, and for this time we will go, not one side, we will go two sides, or symmetric. And now you can press here, 8 units. Let's create now this radius, because it is a radius of 20 units, as you see here, and inside of it we have a circle on the same center, a circle with a diameter of 20. So go with fillet, select this edge and press 20. Now create a new sketch, select this surface, circle now, exactly the same middle and press 20. Finish the sketch, press extrude and go in the other direction, enter. And our drawing now it's complete. Let's color it, so select the entire drawing, right click appearance, and let's write for example red. We have a bunch of options, let's go for example with this one. And this is our drawing. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.